Apologies. I didn't start it up nearly as early as I probably should have. But what do you know? It started now. Good. Oh. I guess it might help if I actually have it on screen. Well, as the active window. <laughs> Instead of just as the preview window for OBS. No wonder it wasn't taking my commands. How's everybody doing? You all doing well? I hope you are. You probably noticed that I have eight Wigan Weld potions. That's because I may have crafted them out of all of the pork lump juice that I already had. Which is good. Hey, Vegsy. Yeah, you mooing at me. Let's go to the Merlin trial, actually. Now that I've got the broom, I think I can relax a little on the main quest. I mean, what's the rush, right? I just wanted the broom so that I could fly around. Although, it's not really critical. Because I'm probably still going to be fast traveling more than anything else. Oh well. Oh, I almost forgot. Well, not almost forgot, just straight up did forget. I was playing this with a controller. Oops. Let's just head over to the map and uh, track this down. It shouldn't really matter in regards to just doing a Merlin trial. Not like I have to fight anything. You know what I mean? I'm glad you're doing good, Gary. It's so much more fun when I know that the game will probably be just fine. Your gear slots are... F Wait, what? Oh, it's just warning me. I'm a sharpshooter. Especially when I get auto-aim privileges. Okay. Wait, was that it? Surely that... Okay, there's, there's more to it. There was one that I didn't even see. Perhaps I got a little, little too carried away here. <laughs> nice. You know that recording at 720p, the game actually runs well. Not stuttering. Usually it would first rule of Popo's training. I know. Popo's training is a lot like Fight Club. I never watched Fight Club. Wait, are these, is this the Merlin trial? Oh. That was the Merlin trial, huh? Now, while that cutscene is playing, I have the perfect opportunity. If it would actually recognize my controller, which it doesn't seem to be. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you can tell when it recognizes it because the icons changed. Isn't that just quaint? Hmm. Maybe I should just keep doing Merlin trials. Because my gear was full, and it still kind of is, because I never got around to... Setting that straight. But you know what? That's a little bit far away. Maybe I should go on my broom. Even though there's really no point. <laughs> May as well, because choo-choo, baby. Just gotta remember what buttons do what. Here we go. da 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 This is so dank. Because I'm riding Tom. Choo choo, you mother frickers. I'm not gonna come up with. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing anymore. I'd hate for your ears to bleed out. I'm not a mandrake after all. I'm not supposed to be making your ears be destroyed. 
There we go. Now for another Merlin trial. Which one is this? Rebellion. Hmm, what can, what might that be? Green. Is that an indication of something? Now what spell might I need? Levioso. Maybe Incendio. fire? Accio. Accio, maybe? Or maybe I just have to keep shooting at it and see what happens. Or maybe I just have to jump on it. Hey, Gamma. How's it going? Crap, now I don't know how to jump. Oh, wait, here we go. <laughs> now I see it's a... See, not everything is a shooting at it trial. Sometimes it's just an acrobatic trial. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. When do we get our own house, Elf? Scorpy fears that might not be a possibility. Or maybe it will, I don't know. Wait, did I not pick up on the reward of the previous uh. one? Or maybe I did. Revelio. Yeah, it said it was completed. Uh-oh, we've got enemies around. Best be on guard, boyo. Let's see. Any more of those trials for me? Yeah, we've got a tomb right there. How dank. Nope, none that I have actually unlocked. Huh. Okay, then. Apparently I have some unclaimed challenges. Complete Merlin Trials. Increased Expansion Reward. Cool. Increased Expansion Reward. <laughs> Go figure, they're gonna be the same things each time. Funny how that works, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's, it's running just fine, Gamma. Check it out. Not only did it not crash the entire time, but it's barely even having stuttering issues. Look at it. You want to know how I did it? Oh, okay, so missed it. Easy to read comment here. Okay, then. The funny thing is I didn't even cock my head. I could actually tell what it was saying. It took me a second, but... It wasn't that hard. That's right, you better run for me, you damn birds. Yeah, as you can tell, it's not even having stuttering issues. What I had to do was I basically butchered OBS. I think OBS might have been the problem. It was pushing my computer over the limit. It was using enough resources on its own that Hogwarts Legacy just didn't have enough to work with. Shall make a... What? Okay, I might actually have to work for that one. Habit of writing like that. Wow. You're evil, man. Or maybe I'll just make a habit of not reading your comments. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but still. I would appreciate it if you didn't make it harder for me to read your comments. Because sometimes I'm a doofus and I'm hyper-focused on the game anyway, so... Why would you want to make it harder for me to read your comments? Unless you don't want me to read your comments. Dastardly. You know what? Why climb? Climbing is for suckers. We've got magic. The magic to scrub floors, apparently, because that's what... Begsy things. Wait, what the? That's weird. It showed another Merlin trial. Oh, okay, that's me. Room of requirement. Ooh. Ah, the Room of Requirement! I think I'm gonna head over there. Uh, actually, I think there's that ghost bridge somewhere. Wherever the hell it is. It was around here somewhere. 
Okay, Gamma, now you're just... Now you're just messing with me. It'll become impossible to read all the messages. That, that's true. Exceedingly difficult, Gamma, because I do not speak Japanese. I'm, I'm, I think that's Japanese. It looks like it's Japanese. Yeah, I, on, I only speak English. I barely know a few tidbits about Spanish. Not really any words, but I know how it's structured, like amos, on. I know amos means we. Or just you end a word with mos for we. It's Chinese. Oh, okay then. Anyway. Let's move on. Before I make an even bigger jackass out of myself, if such a thing were even possible. Man, I love looking at this castle. I know I had my fill in the last one, but... Gotta admit, this is nice to look at. And I hate to say that because a certain someone seems to think that this game is only visuals and it, there's no gameplay to it. Okay, we get it, Vegsy. At that point, you're just being weird, man. Also, I don't think I quite can t quite finish this one Merlin trial. Did I not finish it off like I should have? That's weird. Revelio. Wonder what I did wrong. Okay. <laughs> Well, that goes for both of you. Not like I didn't say anything to him when he was doing it. Oh, well, let's not do that. What's next, Hylian? You know, for some reason, I thought it was pronounced Helian. I don't know why. I mean, I knew that the actual land is called Hyrule, but for some reason I never it never crossed my mind that it's Hylian, not Helian. <laughs> uh, that was weird. But I guess that's beside the point. Went off on a tangent there. That's what happens. That's what happens with me. <laughs> Let's go off on tangents. The hell's that? Okay, it's just a rock. <laughs> I didn't know if it was supposed to be something important and it just didn't load in properly. You know, like a flu flame location. Oh, look at that, ruins. That ruin's great. Hmm. Eh, it can't hurt. Possibly. Oh, it's because I don't have the wayward point off yet. There we go. Wait a minute, there's a Merlin trial in there? There's a freaking Merlin trial in there! It may be the Forbidden Forest, but I smell a Merlin. Besides, I'm getting somewhat competent at the fighting mechanics by now, I like to think. Famous last words, I know. Feel free to take bets right now on how long do you think it's going to take for me to die. Probably not long at all. Target lock is an effective tool. Really? And here I thought it was an active detriment. Why didn't you guys tell me? Wait a minute. Huh. 47 years? I didn't mean in real life. I mean in the game. Bro. Man, that's... That's grim. That's grim, bro. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Huh. Let's just do this Merlin trial and get the hell out of here. This place is scary. Oh, 
Here's a pleasant surprise. Yeah, in this place, you gotta take what you can get. No thanks. Revelio. Now, what's the trial all about? Ah, do I have to flay? Do I have to set things on fire? I'm happy to set things on fire. Incendio. That's a good point, Gary. So glad I got this fixed before April came around because it is my month of the mystical fools. For those of you who don't know, I'm dedicating the month to doing only Harry Potter games for my Let's Plays. Obviously, that's not holding true for my live streams. I'm still doing Resident Evil Village. But for my regular recorded live Let's Plays, all Harry Potter games throughout the month of April. Just thought you should know that. Yeah, that's already been activated, so I just have to burn everything. Wait, what the? You have to do it fast, don't you? That's the trial, isn't it? It's a new Oh wait, you gotta do it from a distance? No, wait, it went back up. I guarantee you, you just have to do it fast. And probably there's more than two of them. Come on, you bastard. Yeah, that's why I thought. Where, where are they? Yeah, I did Chamber of Secrets on Game Boy Advance. I pretty much did all the major ones. Like, if there's a Game Boy Advance version and it's well enough different... Oh, shit. Here you go, buddy. That was a little premature of me. I'm getting a little jumpy here, in case you can't tell. Take this, bitch. Oh, boy. Right, I need to hold it down. Well, they are of a slightly higher level than me, so me beating them should be considered a bonus. Ugh. Shame you're so foul. At least I didn't have to use any Wigan Weld potions. And I didn't die. That's probably a nice bonus, too. Okay, where the hell are the rest of these? I see two of them. I'm pretty sure they're about equally distant from this, which means if I don't see it here, it has to be down here somewhere. Yep, there it is. How much you want to bet it's these three? How much you want to bet? Taking all bets. Incendio. Wait, I gotta get close to it. That's the trial. Unless, of course, you're not even supposed to be doing this yet. Did I even get close enough for that one? No, I didn't. Oh, I'm gonna screw this up. Incendio. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm screwing this up in so many ways. Would be proud. Well, at least I beat the trial. All it cost me was one of my chomping lettuce. I don't even know how you get more of that. Yeah, it was Philosopher's Stone. I'm, I did also do Chamber of Secrets for Game Boy Advance, though. It just didn't... It didn't publish yet. Seeing as how that cabbage didn't kill anything... Ah, uh, I couldn't get it back. It's gone forever. Damn it. Rebellion. Guess it can't be helped then. Rick. Do I have unclaimed rewards? Or no? Oh, you gotta solve six of them for another one. Ah, oh, man. Rule of equivalent. What is this? Full Metal Alchemist? For what can equal the cost of a human soul? I don't know, probably another soul. Yeah, I should probably get out of here. 
This place just doesn't look good for my health. Let's just go to the Hogmeads map. I need to sell some shit, finally. I've been putting that off for too long. A beast supply shop. Hairdressing salon. I guess if you want to change your looks. Teas and confections. Honeydukes. It's known for its fudge. Okay, then. Who knows? I don't think it was ever actually explained how the Philosopher's Stone was made, I don't think. I know for Horcruxes you have to murder someone. Like for each one you have to murder someone. And it would be more fitting if that person is close to you. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yeah, even with it in a much better shape, it still has to load a bit. It's not going to run perfectly. Hello there. Hello, Please, sir. Come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. No, I just want to sell shit to you. Is that okay? Let's. Oh, okay. My robe isn't even worth anything. I guess I'll just get rid of it then. Better than destroying it. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. What the? Some of these don't get you anything. It's weird. Hmm. Ooh, that one actually has more than what I've got. Maybe... I suspect you have a sharp eye for fact. Maybe before I sell things off, I should probably make sure that I'm actually wearing the best of the best. You know? Wait. Well. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Commonly found in open fields. Leech juice. That's lovely. Oh, wait. It's in gear, obviously. I've only got these gloves. Every other glasses are inferior to these. I have no other hats. Do I have any other scarfs? All other scarfs are inferior, but this one does allow you to equip a trait to it. That's interesting. What would a trait do? No trait applied. Wait, that one also has one. Wait, what the? Huh. Actually takes my offense down. That's weird. Alrighty then. This actually has a better def offense. I'm actually glad this one's my best one, because the red shirt kind of reminds me of Duke Nukem. Just a little bit. Even though everything else sure as shit doesn't. Anyway. I think that's enough playing around. Sure, whatever you say, pal. Okay, sell this. That has zero, so definitely sell that. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Definitely these, though. And that. That's literally worth nothing, so may as well just get rid of that. I kind of think these are cool, but does that worth... That's eh, probably not. I could probably find something like that, or even more silly. Screw it. I'm not going for looks. Right now I'm going for stats, because I need all the stats I can get. Now let's see if Seafoam Nightwear? Okay then. Sleek dueling gloves. Cool. Harry Potter would be better if Hogwarts Legacy was... What's Unseen University? I'm not familiar with that. Is that a reference to something? Ornate black and brown gloves. Sure, let's get this. 
You won't be disappointed. That's a Gladrax promise. Geometric house cloak. Cool. And a fairy green sorcerer's hat. Hi, Elisera. How are you? You won't be disappointed. That's oh, wait a, a minute. Promise. Oops. Probably should have checked all the hats. Wait, that's 26. That's actually more than that. Well, I guess I'm not going to be the, the fedora warrior yet. I, uh, I see. You have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that. Discord. Maybe I should look into it sometime. Now, nah, let's just equip better stuff. Still just that, but we have a better hat now. Huh, now I look more like Professor Garlic. Maybe I can call myself Garlic Jr. <laughs> well, those look like pajamas. Kind of funny. Okay, moving on. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Thank you. I will. Wait, why am I not wearing these? I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Ah, I see. I'll take your word for it, Gamma. I I unequipped all gloves. Why did I unequip all gloves? Weird. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Thanks for the recommendation, then. There we go. Now I think I'm just about ready. <laughs> Somehow the nightwear gives me more defense. That's kind of funny. You won't be disappointed. Maybe I should That's be the sleeper. Actually, you know what? What'll be better to call it? I'm I'm a dreamer. This just turned into Hollow Knight because I'm a freaking dreamer now. <laughs> I'm a dreamer because I'm wearing pajamas. Right. The funny thing is, I did learn from a YouTube video Be sure to stop that you can actually go that. around in all nightwear and people will actually react to you. <laughs> kind of funny. Well, this has been delightful, hasn't it? Nice being able to look around without having to worry about the game crapping out in so many ways. It's obviously not perfect, but I think it still looks pretty good. Don't you? Not half bad. Just admiring the scenery. Level one lock. I'm gonna need to get some luck picks. I know, it's a spell. Revelio. Darn it. I thought maybe I was being clever here. Me. Hmm. This would be not even a locked door. It's just a... A painted-on door? Only other way I can describe it. Bruh. I wasn't even running until you said something. This is the regular speed. Unless you want me to go like this. You want me to do this? Because I have to deliberately only hold in the analog stick a little bit for him to actually walk. You've got walk, running, which is just the analog stick held all the way. And then you've got sprinting. Two thousand years later. Maybe I'll be moving slow enough for the textures to actually completely load in. Cauldrons. That'd be nice if I had my own cauldron. Ooh, what's this? Better yet, I can just take your stuff. Silver four eyes spectacles. Huh. Morrowind walk only challenge. Oof! So not even fast travel. Man, that sounds painful. Oh, 
Not bad. Not bad. I may as well soup my soup. Oh, wait, it is soup myself up. Hey, buddy. Okay, you don't want to talk to me, huh? Fine. See if I care. Actually, Just I wonder let me if, know he... if there's something in particular you're looking for. Wait, Thomas Brown. Hmm. Bro, I want to talk to you. Well, let me talk to him. I'm pressing square. I swear to you. Let's look at Here what we, we have, shall we? Conjuration spellcrafts. Unlock the ability to conjure a beast toy box. Beast. Okay, this is basically just beast stuff. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Thank you, sir. The only thing I need help doing is getting out of here because I wasn't looking for this. Maybe I should actually look on the map. Yeah, Ollivander's is right there. I forgot, I was supposed to talk to him. His family wand is only in pieces. He's not going to be very happy. But what can you do? Sorry, sir. Oh. Can't even talk to him. Real shame. Rebellion. Do you have any secrets for me to uncover? Right. Aaron, wow, you're evil. You're, you're evil, buddy. Nice to see you again. Hey, look, it's Thomas the Tank Engine. Kind of like the one I have. Hello, friend. What are we looking for today? Eh, yeah, nothing really. Wow, I can sell this crap to him. Nice doing business with you. Why'd I go all the way over there? I get. I can apparently sell Thanks to anybody. For by. Hope to see you again. I overestimated this game's realism, apparently. Yeah, let me just take this poacher coat and then sell it back to him because it's weaker than what I've got. What are we looking for today? I'm just gonna sell this crap that I just from you. But apparently, you don't care. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. I don't know, Elisera. Apparently, Voldemort could fly too. Have you ever seen Deathly Hallows Part 1? I played the video games of them, and in both cases, Voldemort is straight up just flying without a broom. No lie, you can look it up. He's like freaking Superman. He's Superman and guy shit. I think Rowling wanted to go with the traditional aspects of wizards, which is why things like potions and brooms were done. But in many ways, they were defied. Even Death Eater, every Death Eater can fly. Oh. My bad, for some reason I confused Death Eater with Dementor. So why do you need a broom? I don't know, ask them. That's like saying... Hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna prove a point. That's like saying, why need the invisibility cloak when you can apparently do this? Yeah, apparently it's not as foolproof. If they're close enough, it can break the effect, but... I mean, if that's something anyone can learn... Why would you even need you an invisibility cloak? Ha! I have no tolerance for thieves. Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? We've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir, we'd never take more than those. I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You Please just stop, wait sir. till I see your mother. That was a bit harsh. Rooms have safety features like crimple zones, automatic highlights, etc. Ah, in the books they don't fly on their own, Gary. They actually do have brooms. I guess they did that just to make it look cooler. Dallied with many forms of government, and it ended up with that form of democracy known as one man, one vote. The patrician was the man, he had the vote. Okay. Is that from the book that you mentioned? Who needs keys when you have a little more? 
Like a skeleton key. It's amazing how many spells are basically violating privacy and other things like that. I guess it's because they're not well known. It was an accident, Basilisk Breeder insists. The Cornish wizard arrested for breeding basilisks has insisted it is all simply a silly mistake. He was taken in after a routine inspection revealed toad infestations in all five of his chicken coops. Basilisk's feeding has long since been forbidden by the ministry. However, due to the potency, rarity, and value of basilisk venom, it is perhaps not surprising to know the less rule biting among us have skirted the law. A shrouded figure who has wished to remain anonymous, the way to make a basilisk is by hatching a chicken egg beneath the toad. Every every the Cornish wizard has extra, pleaded total extra. ignorance as a defense before the wizen gammon, claiming that his chicken coops are simply irresistible to toads and has no knowledge of the basilisk breeding process. Wait. Read all about you put a chicken egg under a toad and it makes a snake? What? <laughs> Can someone tell me how that equation makes any sense? Your daily I swear, my brain is about to melt from that. That literally makes no sense. Chicken plus toad equals giant snake that kills you by looking at you. Or by you looking at it, either way. You look into its eyes and you're dead. And it's made with a fucking toad and a fucking chicken. I'm sorry, but I find that weird. And I can't be the only one. It's magic, it doesn't have to make sense. Wow, my photo can move. We don't have that for 30 years. Well, I mean, technically, this is in the distant past, so they wouldn't have had it yet. I think it's in the 1800s or something. Don't quote me on that. Oh, it makes... Yeah, like I said. It doesn't just make a snake, even. It makes a freaking basilisk. The venomous, look into its eyes and die kind. <laughs> Getting the toad to stay on the egg. Well, I mean, there is a way that you could do it. Petrificus total. Oh, wait. Actually, in this case, it would be Petrificus totalis. <laughs> you see what I did there? I'm funny in my own head. Please clap. <laughs> okay, I think I've done. I'm done messing We're around. Done Maybe I should learn that curse. Ooh, what's under here? I'll learn the curse in a minute. Oh, it's one of those eyeball chests. Gives you a lot of gold, but you gotta be invisible. Those eyeballs are pretty skimmish, but there's an easy way to beat them. You don't even have to be careful. I'm glad someone found it funny. Magic here violates privacy. Yeah, it does. Rebellion. Look. You can turn invisible. While it's not foolproof, you could spy on people if you wanted to. In precarious situations. All I'm saying... Not to mention, Accio. And let's not get started on the can of worms that is a polyjuice potion. The instructions on how to make one may be in the restricted section of the library, but potentially anyone can learn how to make one. Room of requirement, I need to have a mining pick. Um, I don't know if that would work. Although apparently Accio works on people's clothing, so... Could you potentially... If you wanted to, I'm just speaking hypothetically, I would never do this, but... Could you use Accio only on someone's clothes and... Forcefully take it off of them. Don't forget the magic mirror of... Yeah. You mean that mirror that is in the first movie that shows you what you most desire? What if you most desire seeing one of your classmates without their clothes on? Would it show you that? The deepest burning desires of your heart. Yes, the, perver the perverted student just sees a lot of softcore nudity there's probably some fanfic out there detailing that yeah probably but yeah the only reason this stuff isn't brought up is because technically harry potter is a series that's more geared towards children it's not 
totally for children because it can still get pretty violent and the movies are pretty much all PG-13, but it is steered towards a young enough audience that it doesn't really get into the sexual stuff, at least explicitly. They probably get the answers and serve them right. Yeah. I think one of the only times where it's alluded to is because it, I think in one of the credits section you see the Marauder map and you see two footprints right next to each other in a closet. Yeah, I wonder what they're doing in there. Must be helping each other get light bulbs, am I right? Couldn't be anything We're else going on there. Yeah, they were actually. I think that was a hallucination that Ron saw. Although, they were obviously covered up. Yeah, the Marauder map allows you to see everyone's location. It's like the NSA. Hmm. Let's just get out of here. Chores aren't so bad. Hmm. I don't mind the old books, one huh? Magic. Don't mind if I take those books from you. Those aren't flying pages. I wonder where those flying pages are. Oh, there's one. You can tell it's what I want because it's highlighted. Oh, it's one of you again. It's time to be sneaky. One talent point. Nice. Magic AI win. What? I mean, 11 labs is, is already kind of magic if you think about it. It does so many voices so perfectly. Don't forget about Mad Eye Moody and his eyeball. Does that eyeball actually give him some kind of abilities? I don't remember. It's been forever since I saw Goblet of Fire. All I know is that it seems like every Defense of the Against the Dark Arts teacher is doomed in some way. Revelio. Oh, what do you know? Wait, up! No, that was just a lantern. Wait, what do we have here? Another one of you? There's a lot of these guys around here that I never noticed before. Ah, I see. What is chewing gum? Revelio. Alrighty then. I'm just strolling around in a graveyard at night. Just total behavior. Totally normal behavior, I assure you. The Tomb of the Villager. Maybe some other time. I get the feeling I'm going to get deader than dead if I go in there now. Let's just... I Society Fedora. Why is there a, a fedora near a grave? He died as he lived. Being a fedora tipper. Revelio. Anyway. Oh, it's you. Deep what stuff. A pleasant surprise. I I don't know. I don't know if they do have belief systems. I don't think that was ever gotten into. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Yeah, kinda. Aloe sweet, not grass. Fluxweed, fertilizer. Dittany leaves. Must be grown in large pots. Okay then. Remove requirement items. Cool. Julio. I'm just gonna sell you some crap that I got. Yes, milady. <laughs> no one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. The Magic Neep card. This card belongs to Timothy Tazdale, who runs the Magic Neep. And that's just neat. Oh yeah, also I have a talent point, so I'm gonna spend it. Who knows? I'm sure at least some of them are Christian. I mean... You could say that the magic comes from God. I mean, it depends on how you interpret it. Let's see. Casting Incendio unleashes a ring of flame around you. Or also pulled to you. 
Ah, I see. Enemies near a target are also levitated. Let's just go for the flame ring. I like the idea of that. Let's just burn. Technically, Jesus' parents, well, his earth parents, um, I think Mary was his blood parent, but Josh is basically just adopted his adopted parent just because his actual parent is God, so you could say by the Harry Potter logic he would be half-breed because we know that his father is all-powerful, so he wouldn't be considered a m I don't think God you would consider God a muggle, so... Yeah, half-breed by that standard. Rebellion. People could be wizards talking snakes, Moses parting sea. Yeah, true. Oh, that's a level 3 lock. I can't even open level 1 locks yet. Look how nice this is, though. Welcome. Come on in. Darn. Okay, I think I messed around enough for now. Let's just go ahead and go back to Hogwarts. Got a decent amount of stuff. And I could probably find Sebastian at his usual spot near the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. Yes, indeedy. Well, Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. Probably close enough. Bingo. Well, consider the following. Pretty much all major cultures on the planet do have their own depictions of what look like dinosaurs. So it calls into question if dinosaurs really didn't exist at the same point as humans. And while you could say aging, that's not very reliable. In fact, there's a petrified cowboy boot. And we know that's not from thousands of years ago. Um, Illicera, I think maybe it's because it has to do with Voldemort. I guess it was just a, a very rare thing. And apparently the reason why he could talk to snakes and the reason why he was considered for Slytherin is just because it was Voldemort's wh horcrux. Which kind of, it's kind of weird when you think about it. If he intended for Harry Potter to be a horcrux, why was he trying to kill him? Eh... There's always going to be inconsistency somewhere. Wait, what the hell? Okay, this is weird. Oh. I guess I'll just go to this one instead. You'd prefer talking to crows. Yeah, I'm sure Elisera would. He does love birds. More useful than snakes and easier to hide. Okay, then. Easier to hide. Aren't snakes extremely malleable? You'd think they would be easier to hide. But then again, I've never tried to hide a snake. So I wouldn't know. Boy, can you help me? Boy, later. And then the werewolves join the goblins in the werewolves, where were you? Werewolves? Flying with a pack of billion crows that look alike. Can you say the same about a snake slithering with a billions of snakes that look alike? How is that unique to them? Levioso. Nicely done. Triumph of the will or Ninochka. I'm assuming you're asking a Lucero. Anywho, I guess I'm going to go over to the Room of Requirement. Begin the quest. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes.
forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard? I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> and yes, Elisara, gifts that don't use a computer. That is pretty magical, isn't it? What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. I needed but to find it. to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Okay. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Really? Room of contrived plot. There's no chance You're not of wrong. clambering over this mess. Levioso. Mm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay, so instead of moving the crap out of the way, we're just gonna make it disappear. Also, this is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna need concentration. So is Frank. Oh good, I, I did it on my first try, isn't that great? Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Okay, then. Now you see me, now you don't. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I guess it's a good thing I've been shooting those rocks and getting a lot of Moonstone, huh? Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Probably hiding somewhere, or maybe someone disappeared him. Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Okay. Yes, Professor. Let's look around this place. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying... Good being a baby. I got shit to find and shit to loot. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to actually interact with this, aren't I? Oh. Wait. But then again, what's over here? That is disturbing. I'm just going to move on and pretend I didn't see that. We eyeballing me eyeball? Mm, ah, yes. Tea, Grey Earl Hot. A fine brew of tea. Unfortunately, it's not American enough for me. Cheap skin winter hat. It is inferior to the clearly cool one that I have. That's really what you focus on, Elisera? Not the fact that it's moving without muscles? Or the fact that it's alive at all? So the fact that it can move and is alive without muscles or organs, that's not what you're worried about. What you're worried about is the fact that it can speak. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. You have weird priorities, my friend. Weird priorities. An intruder? Where? No, not at 
are not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. What the? Bro. Who are you calling an intruder? You jerk. You're lucky you're in a painting. Otherwise, I'd totally pop you one. Look at that. Is it functioning? Uh, apparently it is. Though if you're wandering around this place and, uh... Bit offended, the room thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. Apparently it thought you really needed to release, relieve yourself as well. Well, who knows, Illicera, maybe a lot of people need to take a seat. Why don't you have a seat right over there? I guess Chris was in this room recently. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? I don't know, you're getting around here just fine. Oh, look at that. I'm not familiar with that instrument. It looks like a harp, but also different. Oh well. All that furniture to stack in Dagoth's honor. Is this... Oh wait, is this how you honor the six houses in the tribe unmourned? What was that? Was that, that a golden, golden snitch? snitch? Ah, we said it at the same time, Jinx. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Akio. Also, this creates another funny problem. What if someone in Quidditch decided to cheat and use Akio to instantly get the snitch? Or would that even be considered cheating? We know Elisera. And probably some saddles, too. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Akio! Ah, I guess the candles are trying to lead me somewhere. Just like that ghost quest. Are you ready for some real magic, ladies and gentlemen? Because I think the magic is just getting started. Ah, here's the elf. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. I just realized something. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. This is the hollow deck. The room will do the rest. Think about it. This is the freaking hollow deck from Star Trek. I had no expectations and I'm still disappointed. What? What do you mean, man? I've got a size 13 boot. You know what they say about guys with large boots? They have large feet. Down, boy. Down. 
You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I wonder if it would have looked different. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. I wonder if it would have ah, looked... And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Okay. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay. Cool. Reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. I don't have any unidentified gear. At least I don't think so. Anyway, I was gonna say... I wonder if this would have looked different to someone in another house. Like, would someone in the Slytherin house have a slightly more sinister looking one? Then again, this is a blank slate. No unidentified gear. For when I have something to identify. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Okay, then. Whatever you say, Professor Weasley. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. My room would look like a... Oh, wait a minute. I was about to say. Anyway, my room would probably look like a gamer cave. You know, like a man cave or something. That's my definition of paradise. Uh-oh. Well, at least I made it anyway. Conjuring spell. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. I did not say that. They can also that. be collected by vanishing Wait. objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Mm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Okay, since you're going to be a stickler about this. Conjure a potting table. Conjure a potion station. Cool. Freaking cool, bruh. Hmm. Ooh, herbology. Very nice. I could grow stuff. You know, like, uh, <clears throat> my healing herbs. I was referring to Wigan Weld potions. That's. Okay, potion station. Potting table. A botanical. Small, eclectic. Gothic. Let's go for gothic, I guess. Dude, you really need to quit testing YouTube. You realize they're not going to let you get away with everything, right? I guess you could. We do know that dragons exist in the Harry Potter universe. They, they established that pretty fast. Anyway, I guess I need a potting table. You should be happy, Elisera. I'm making gothic shit. Aren't you all about that? Look at that. I'm making gothic stuff for you. Be happy. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Okay. Thank you, Professor. 
I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Sure, why not? I'm not in a hurry. Let's do it. Teach. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. It didn't censor it for me. I still see it. Is it because you're on top, chat? I technically have enough already. Yep, return to Professor Weasley. See, like I said, I've been shooting the stones outside, so that gives me plenty of moonstone. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Yeah, let's make it look like Castlevania. See you, Sarah. I'm making... I'm... I'm pandering to you a little bit. You should be happy about that. I mean, I don't expect you to be happy about that, but hey. Do 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 That's not gonna happen. to see a student so comfortable. Sorry, Elisera, but that's not gonna happen. You're gonna have to settle for gothic shit. Actually. Oh, not that. Rotate. I keep forgetting it's L and R. Put the uh, rug between them. Interior decoration lessons. Yeah, damn right. Ooh, paintings. Gazing witch portrait. Fitting a witch with her two house elves. Nurse and baby. Bickering couple. Dapper wizard. Hmm. Let's make this place a, a bit of a dapper environment. Hmm, yes, this just got fancy. Decorations. Gothic standing light. Uh, I'm gonna make it look like Bloodborne in here. I've decided, it's gonna look like Bloodborne. Until Bloodborne actually goes on PC, this is gonna have to be the next best thing. See, look at that. It's looking better already, isn't it? I like to think so. Let's put it right around each staircase. I think that'll really bring out the look of the room. I'll even put it in front of you. And in front of here is also good. See, check it out. What'd I tell you? Is that beautiful or what? Ooh, desk of description. I already have one of those. Is there anything else that I... Ooh, seasonal flare decorations. Found in chests. A set of giant carved jack-o'-lanterns and a Christmas tree. It said Christmas tree! Illocera Christians do exist in the Harry Potter universe. This proves it. I mean, let's be real. If they wanted to, they probably could have just said... Um, holiday tree. It uh, warms Deke's heart to see. I get your sim to get a job. Oh, you're funny. Comfortable. Object must be placed against a flat surface. Did, weren't you the one that said that this game was a walking simulator? And now that I'm actually playing it like a walking simulator, you're finding an issue with it. You can't be happy, can you? You're the one who said that was a walking simulator. Are you starting to regret that? Will you admit that it's not just a walking simulator? Admit it's not just a walking simulator, or I might have to spend the rest of this live stream just decorating. Okay, is that a bad thing? You would take an issue with that? A gothic chair. Let's put that in the middle. Or actually, it would probably be even... No, but it's not in a playable space. Crap. 
I guess I'll just have to settle for right about... Actually, because, uh, let's put it, um, right here. That's where it oversees all the entranceways. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets! Where's the toilet? <laughs> yeah, we don't need one of those. This is interesting. It's like Fallout 4 in a way. You see, an RP it's an RPG where you can also decorate an environment. Painting of a nurse leaning over a cradle. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Now let's do duality here. Masculinity and femininity. Let's see. A young wizard gazing into a bowl. A witch who seems rather irritated with a wizard. <laughs> There we go, the... Uh... the good so we bridge it. Shall we move on? Explains why the school is so rich. Look at that. You've got masculinity, femininity, and the two conjoined. I think it looks good. And again, Illusar, I'm doing this for you. I am conforming it to your likes. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Oh, hello, person. Ah, it's time to use my Glock again. My magical Glock shall show me the way. <laughs> Extra virgin olive oil. Well, we'll just need an just emulsifier, won't we? Just wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Are you familiar with an emulsifier, Elisera? An emulsifier is something that takes two things that ordinarily can't mix and it allows them to mix. For instance, if you want to mix oil and water, add mustard to it. Mustard is an, is an emulsifier, so it will actually allow water to mix with oil. So, ha, huh, your stupid joke has been broken. What do you say to that? Let's modify this. Oh, we can. Darn it. Alter the size of any item. Can I alter the size of that mirror? Oh, wait, this is the walls. Let's change the wall. Change visuals. Black. Let's see, what shall we do with this? Red, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, red looks good. And I guess I may as well make it symmetrical. That would make your brain and body work together, Junkie. Oh, you're hilarious, aren't you? Let's do black and red. I like that it color combination. Warms Deke's heart. You so comfortable. Oh, I'm comfortable, all right. I'm the most comfortable guy on the planet. Which isn't to say that I make other people comfortable. There we go. Half black and half red. Just the way I like it. Change the color of an item. I guess the wall doesn't count. Me. Anyway. Darn it. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, Illicera, come on, man. You think they have a, have a monopoly on that? It's kind of like how the symbol didn't really start with them. Granted, there is a certain style of the design, the emblem that is more specific to them, but Buddhism had that symbol first, technically. So it just showcases your own ignorance, pal. But 
botanical standing light? Cool. I only changed it because I have to. Change the color of an item. I keep forgetting which ones I'm actually supposed to be doing here. Oops. That's not what I meant to do, I just meant to change the color. There we go. Hey, Hooded. How's it going? Can I change the size of this? Oh, I can change the size. Neat. Let's change the size of this mirror. I even can because it's very sensitive. Make it big, baby. Bigger is better. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. Is that you so? You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. I did, but okay. Ah, look at that. Ooh, I can even conform the floor to this. That's nice. Let's do red. It already has some black in the design, so... This space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deep. What do you mean? Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Really, is that uh, so? Come and talk to Deke. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Gothic. Dark and mysterious, I guess. Moonlit ambience, actually. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Huh. Sounds perfect. Oh, that's really nice. It fits so perfectly with it, doesn't it? Moonlight fits perfectly with mm. gothic architecture. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Now it's really... Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Now it's really look looking like Castlevania, isn't it? I like it. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Right. Well, what do you think? Doesn't it fit perfectly? It seriously it does. Warms Deke's heart to see a human so comfortable. Has been dispensed into your account. Okay, then. I figured Illicero would be all over this because he loves Castlevania and Gothic architecture. We've got a nice moonlit Gothic architecture here. It looks beautiful. It's damn gorgeous to me. All that's missing is for me to sit in here, sit in this, and dramatically throw a goblet to the ground. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets! But enough talk! How about you? Anyway... Let's go and learn a curse, I guess, because that is also part of the gothic art st gothic lifestyle. Oh, classroom. You know what this means? Since we have a Castlevania aesthetic, what a horrible night to have a curse. Do 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 do. This is Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. That one isn't very liked. 
Probably doesn't help that every single time that happens, it stops you in order to say, what a horrible night for a curse. It doesn't just flash the text, it stops you. It makes sure that you know about it. If only a new student would help me with my sad predicament. Yeah, if only. Well, see ya. <laughs> Over here. What you want, man? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Okay. Let's do it. There's a secret passage just here. The irony... It's disguised. Despite all these mods aggressively LODing the textures and everything, once it actually loads in, it looks really good, doesn't it? And this is on low settings. I would love to have a computer that can one day play this on high settings. I can only imagine. I was about to say, come on. I was holding it down. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play Govstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Got it. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. I won't tell he a used single to soul. sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. All right. But yeah, I can imagine how this would look with higher graphical qualities. Maybe one day if I ever have a computer that's good enough. But you know what? I'm just fine having it run at all. I shouldn't talk like that. It still looks damn good as it is. I mean, compared to pretty much every Harry Potter game I've played, but then again, pretty much all Harry Potter games are from the Wii era and earlier, so anything beyond that is going to impress me in comparison. Still. Looks nice. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind. And no spell could reverse it. Ouch. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. Maybe live streaming. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. That this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Are we gonna really? learn about a Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Can I learn about a Kedavra, please? A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Funny, Vexy. Anyway, you it know It may take a while to get the feel for it. 
Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is confringa. You know, it makes perfect sense. Very well. A Ravenclaw would want to learn everything, because we're all about seeking knowledge and wisdom. So, of course, we'd go after even spells that are considered dangerous and forbidden. It's all about gaining knowledge, it's all about gaining wisdom. So I can perfectly justify this. It's not like only a Slytherin would be interested in this. It's just a tool, after all. That's all these spells are, they're just tools. It depends on how you use them that matters. Well, maybe not the forbidden- You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Maybe not the unforbidden- Stick to the targets. Maybe not the unforgivable curses, because those require you to actually hate the person and want them dead, but... Pretty much everything else is for grabs. Sectum Sempra, you don't even know- you don't even have to know what it does, let alone have intent to cause harm. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Okay. Have a go for at the those candelabras. Both okay. have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendia. Nice, this is where I get the long-ranged fire spell. Confringo. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. Alright, let's blow shit up. Time for Dragon Ball Z. Dragon, dragon, rock the dragon, dragon ball That's Z. It. I think I've got it. Dragon, dragon, rock the dragon, come get me. Dragon, dragon, rock the dragon, dragon ball Z. I have to say, I enjoyed that. Or Mega Me. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo. We singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it you're, down. You're weird, Alessara. To Alicera. this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Ah, crap. Come on. It's almost too much. I'm ready for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells exactly. here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. Let me get the explosion chair. It's not the chair. same without Tan. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Me, Tan. Crap. She could come use on. some cheering up. Rick. I'd be glad to. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely I'm going to what invoke. she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? Uh, I'm not sure where to start. Ancient magic. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I'll tell you the truth. Go ahead, just tell him everything. He was willing to take the fall for us. He's a good guy. Well, you know, not, not a perfect model student, but we can trust him. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Yes, sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say when the I quote. I to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. I'm just gonna say the quote now. <clears throat> Darkness blacker than black and darker than dark, I beseech thee, combined with my deep crimson, the time of awakening cometh. Justice, fallen upon the infallible boundary, appear now as an intallible distortion. Dance, 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 I desire for my torrent of power a destructive force, a destructive force without equal. 
Return all creation to cinders and come from the abyss. This is the mightiest means of attack known to man, the ultimate attack magic. EXPLOSION! Yes, I actually took the time to look that up. I am such a dork. That is the chant of Megamine from Konosuba. Darker than dark. Combined with my deep crimson. Sorry, I have to. Legit. <laughs> I think she's legit. She's legit explosive. Luckily, this one doesn't cause me to pass out. Man, this is so cool. Sorry, sir. Had to. You understand, right? How is that standing? Ah, oh, man, I was hoping to knock it over. I guess it can't be helped. Anyway. I wonder if that will actually allow me to do anything with it. Like, interact with anything in the environment in a unique way. That was fun, wasn't it? She even says other quotes. I am a user of the finest magic crimson demons possessed, and I commend Hello, Sebastian. explosion magic. Behold my yes. power. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Yeah, I stumbled upon it. Sorry about that. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Well, hey, bro. I never said that I would... I wasn't going to tell anyone anyway. There's no need for threats. I'm not going to say anything. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. I will tell us all. Relax. Earful about this. That was unfortunate time. Timing, wasn't it? Oh, uh, won't someone help me? Not exactly being very subtle, are you? But never about just water. What? What about just steam? Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Okay, what do you want? Girl who keeps dropping subtle hints that she needs help with something. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Skunk marbles. <laughs> Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. 
Sounds as though they overreacted. I mean, if they knew about it ahead of time. <sighs> Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Okay, fine. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. You know what? I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite Ooh. tasks, do see me after class. You know what? Regardless of how you feel about her, I feel compelled to help her now. You know why? She's a Ravenclaw. We Ravenclaws stick out for each other. We look out for each other. Well, except in Half-Blood Prince. Apparently, that girl was bullied by her fellow Ravenclaws, but that's not me. I look after my own. We're brethrens, or some shit. <laughs> okay, when Godrim Leviosa, I like the sound of that. Let's just go for that first, though. Flight tests. Quidditch assignment. Require and use a venomous tentacula. Multiple enemies simultaneously. Sounds fun. How would I do that? Where would I go for this? Map chamber. The missing pa Oh, right. That's just my main quest. No, we're tracking this quest. Hmm. Where would I find a venomous tentacula? Okay, uh, I can visit Dogweed and Deathcap. Okay. Let's do this, baby. I think... Uh, it should be in Hogsmeade somewhere. Mead, not meat. The old fool? Let's see, tombs and scrolls. Honey dukes. Magic neep. Three broomsticks. Yoke shop. What was the one that it said? Let's see, um. Dogweed and death cap. Where's Dogweed and Deathcap? Gotta be around here somewhere. A demanding delivery? Wait a minute. Okay, then. That was weird. It kind of bugged out for a second there. Speak with Perry Pippin. Ah, scroll up hogs. What do you mean? Oh. Oh, there it is. My bad. Thanks. I didn't realize it was located all the way up there. Well, at least now I know how to get it. You're the best, buddy. Revelio can sometimes reveal the solution to a difficult magic puzzle. Cool. This has been fun. Now that the game isn't crashing every two seconds, I can honestly say I'm having fun with this game. Regardless of what certain other people say. Both in and out of this chat. And he knows who I'm talking about. Revelio. If he is in fact still here. Also, oh okay, I see. You know how I could tell one of those was nearby? My controller was actually rumbling. That's such a nice function. I guess that's another advantage to having a controller. Your mo Actually, that's a billion dollar idea. What if there was a mouse that had rumble? Megan mean legit my bun bun, although she's a... Oh. I agree, Neo. Ideally, they should be. Although, fun can mean different things to different people. Like, some people have fun by challenging themselves to death. 
Like Soulsborn. And admittedly, I can see the fun in overcoming challenge. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Ah, uh, that is that is legitimately kind of cool. Just feeling that guy clamping down. I know you guys won't know what the hell I'm talking about. You probably even think it sounds weird, but it legitimately sounds. It legitimately feels really cool. Me? Did you dress up for me? Yeah, Vegzy, let's go with that. Elisera says some weird things. Yes. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. Really? I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, he mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Yeah, they can be a little oh, loud. Constant demand for antidotes. I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Give him the chance. Illusera, come on. Don't be weird. Don't be a creep. Anyway. Wow, that's dark, isn't it? <laughs> She basically said, Ah, oh, don't go dying in my store. I don't want to have to clean you up again. I mean, it happened to these other kids just last week. May I see your wares? What do you have for sale? Okay, cool. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Um, thank you. Venomous Tentacula. That's what I need. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise Oh, wait, purchase. a mandrake, too. I can tell you'll go far. Thank you, ma'am. I really appreciate that. Ooh, chomping cabbage seed. Give me some of these. Mandrake seed? Ooh, cool. I'm gonna get more of those, uh, cabbages. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Aw, it's so sweet of her, isn't it? Almost brings a tear to your eye. You said there was a moth near a mirror That's near the chimney outside this lady's house? Oh, for that I mirror. Believe it. I... Rebellion. I'm not even familiar with the moths. Did, did the game ever actually tell me about that and I just forgot about it? Ooh, gold trim hex hexagonical spectacles. These arbitrary numbers are higher, which means I should probably wear them. Okay. Wait, what the hell? Are they invisible? Okay, they're not. They just look different. Lumos near mirror, okay. I'll be doing that in a second. Wow, not only are they inferior, but this one actually requires a higher level. Stupid. That is worse, so we're not going to be putting that on. We get it, Elisera. We get it. Although, can you imagine if there was, like, magic drugs? <laughs> Like a spell that just got you high or something? <laughs> How crazy would that be? You wouldn't even need the good stuff. You could just use a spell and make yourself high. I'm just saying. I'm just saying what everyone's probably thinking. Or at least what I'm thinking. Who needs drugs when you can just use... Or, or a potion. Just get a potion and make yourself super high. That would work too. Lumos. I completely forgot about that. Oh, that's neat. Okay, there's a chimney, I guess. Can't separate the stats from the clothes. There is a cheering charm. <laughs> I guess that's like getting high. You cheer yourself up. Just need to pick me up. Okay, so it's showing me a chimney that I'm guessing is nearby. I'm guessing there's something special in it, isn't there? Like maybe I'll get a secret. Revelio. Okay, nothing here. Lumos. Ooh, what do we have here? Thank you kindly. Nice. I got another talent point. All the paint is gone, how? Okay, ladies' house, look up. Okay. I'll do that in a second. 
I just need to work on my talents. I get it. I got you, sir. New spell set is added. Neat. Um, a new spell set is added. I probably don't want that run right now. It's not really that important. Let's see, it allows you to sprint while using disillusionment. Ooh, that sounds useful. Enemy's ability to detect you is reduced. Hmm. You know what? I don't really need to stealth right now, so... I guess we can always work on this. A second one is generated and released at no cost. That sounds really cool. Makes you invulnerable and pro deflects projectiles back to enemies. That sounds freaking cool. But I don't have any of them. What about dark arts? Oh yeah, I need to be of a higher level for this. Wait, must be able to cast Flopendo. My bad. Is there a mass limit on your Accio? I, I'm pretty sure there would be a limit to it. Yeah, Lucera. Are also pulled to you. Produces fiery bolts that seek enemy targets. Fuck. Yeah. That sounds so cool. You mean to tell me every time I blow someone up with a spell, it also makes home-seeking missiles? Who in the hell would not want that? I do not want to meet the person who does not want that spell. If you don't want that spell, well, don't tell me. Because that, that spell is so cool. That effect is so cool. How could you ever not want it? Okay, I'm just going to go for the chimney now. I was told, look up. Then again, I might be going too far. Where is their house again? I'm getting myself lost. I'm looking the exact opposite way of her house. What the hell am I doing? Was I that distracted? Slice. What are you talking about? Bro. Okay, I'm going far beyond her house at this point. You mean Sectum Sempra? I'm. I'm getting myself lost, hooded. There's the chimney. Dude, I wasn't even sure where where the hell it was. I got myself lost here. Lumos. Hello, little moth. Are you leading me somewhere? Oh, do I have to take it back to the mirror? You have to forgive me, I'm a little dumb. Hope you're not here for a knock grass sprig, because I'm not entirely sure no, I'm I'm just... stock. Huh, okay, that's weird. It's not returning to Oh, Confringo. Confringo! Cool. Uh thanks. That's what you gotta do. Thanks. I don't know if the game ever told me that you could do that. Hobbiton? What is Hobbiton? Oh. Very funny. Oh. Lumos. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I still have use for that invisibility spell. Hey, buddy. Also, it just occurred to me that I probably could have made my journey through the Forbidden Forest a bit easier had I used the invisibility. Not when I was going through the crypt. I think that was mandatory, but just when I was going through it for the Merlin trial, that might have made, made things a little easier for me. Ah, uh, you're funny, Vegsy. 
and then a thousand of, and then eight thousand of them is called a mega hobbite. Rebellion. Is there anything I missed around here? Probably a lot of shit. Oh geez, okay, um, I'm a little stuck. I'm a little glitchy. You know what? I got. Oh, I can't use my broom. Okay, there we go. Jeez Louise, man. Jeez Louise. It's. You, you gotta understand, I'm using a controller instead of my keyboard because it's just easier for me overall. If I was using a keyboard, you could probably just press number of keys or something else, but I'm using a PS4 controller essentially, and they only have so many buttons. You hear a bell rings means there's a scroll hidden. Ah, thanks. I appreciate that. We I'm flying! Vegeta! Vegeta! I'm flying Vegeta! You can't enter while mounted. Someone's here. Oh shit. Oh geez, that was a lag here. Now this is a perfect opportunity to, to do this. Let's do a Mandrake. Oh nice. And now, I will use this. Assignment tool finished. Unfortunate for me, fuck. How unfortunate for me, I'm about to die. No, I'm not, they're about to die. Call an ambulance! But not for me. Broski? You gotta understand that games glitch. Especially open world games. Especially open world games that are technically beyond the specs of my computer. I did not meet the minimum spec requirements for this game. And open world games in general are janky. Who lived here, I wonder? Good question. Unfortunately, I'm probably not going to get the answer until the game decides I can. Attend herbology class during the day. Let's get one Gaudrian Leviosa. You know, so that I can have Hermione judge me for not pronouncing it properly. Is it weird? Okay, come on, you son of a bitch. Is it weird that the five years to develop I expect no clipping? Yeah, bullshit. Bethesda games have far worse clipping, and I'm pretty sure it takes them at least five years. So don't give me that. It sounds as though you're being a bit biased. Anyway, as I was trying to say... I remember when Godrim Leviosa best for Hermione judging Ron for not pronouncing it cr properly. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Upgrade the ancient magic bar. Ah, I see. Team said my renting period is over. What? It's because you've been getting yourself banned off of every forum, isn't it? Like, deliberately, you've been getting yourself banned off of places. You've been going out of your way to get yourself banned from places. Good for you. Oh, neat. Let's just explode everything. Hi, Garlic. Don't mind me. I'm just exploding your plants. Well done. Professor, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh, dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. Really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. I forgot. A at any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. 
The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. I see. What a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. Well, that's unfortunate. I had no idea. How awful. Last I heard, he'd gone to Romania. As rumor would have it, he developed a sudden interest in dragons. One can only hope he found more happiness working with them than he did with Flora. Ha! <sighs> Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. By that logic, if someone stomps on you, Flouting does that mean you deserved it? Day, I see. Can bring up. It's gonna blow you up. Don't mind me, I'm just blowing up your stuff. Is that okay? Well done. I might suggest you practice such maneuvers in a more And I might suggest accessing the map. Okay, cool. Now the game tells me that I can do this. Thank you, game. She's so nice, isn't she? Say hello, Sarah. Wonderful to see you again. Would you expect a human corpse to be perceptive? Then why are you expecting dead plants to be perceptive? Exactly. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. Wingardium Leviosa. If you correctly, you should be able to oh, pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of snowsward. There we go. Perfection. Wingardium Leviosa. Basically the upgraded version. Ah, to fine-tune its distance and rotation. Cool. Let's do it. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Wait, does it just turn into Wingard... Okay, it doesn't. Wingardrium Leviosa. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. Thank you, I appreciate that. Can I throw it? Explosions! Nicely done. You're weird, buddy boy. Map chamber. Arms classroom. Oh yeah. Professor Fig. Where's the room of requirements? I think it's somewhere around here. Great hall, maybe? The grand staircase? I think it's right here. No, wait, never mind. I have no idea where I'm going. Secret rooms, maybe? Bingo. Yo, perfection, baby. Oh. 
Try using Accio and I'll automatically change to Wingardium Leviosa. Okay. I did not know that. Thank you for telling me. You would think that Leviosa would automatically be Wingardium Leviosa. It's a deep's heart to see a student so comfortable. Um, thanks. Let's empty the pot. What the? Oh, purchased. Here we go. Incorrect pot size. What happened to the... I could have sworn I had a lettuce one here. I guess not. Oh, here we... Incorrect pot size. My bad. Well, I'm pretty much out of time anyway. Using nothing more than a squirrel, a string, and a me megaphone. <laughs> oh, okay, my bad. I did not know that, Hooded. Thank you for telling me. Anyway, I gotta go. Let's just put the Denny back in this one for now. That is it for this live stream. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be doing Hogwarts Legacy again in two days. That was just an unexpected test live stream that happened to work out really well. At least now I know that I can run Hogwarts Legacy well. That is now two live streams that I have gone through without it crashing once. I I think the problem is over. But yeah, the next Hogwarts Legacy will be next Monday at 4.30. I am Illicer if you just give me time. Next Monday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then of course I'm doing Resident Evil Village. Thursday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do Let's Plays every single day at high noon. I do ranking videos right now, Plutonia Experiment Final Doom. 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, of course, but you can always subscribe and punch that bell icon if you're watching me on YouTube. A like and a comment are always appreciated for that algorithm. But I just hope you genuinely enjoyed yourself, and that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Spread this video around like requirements and gothic architecture. Oh, by the way, Elisera, did you ever see this? No, we're not. Evegzi, Illusera is telling me to drop Resident Evil Village. I think you might have an issue with that. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. I thought you would be more into gothic architecture. I even designed it for you. It's even moonlit. Man, you are impossible to please. See you later, everybody. It uh, warms Deke's heart to see a student so...